welcome. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to take this $4 find from Goodwill and transforming it into a nice vanity chair with padding. First thing I did was I purchased the one inch padding from Walmart. The foam padding is a one inch 16 by 16 that cost approximately $4. And I took this and stapled it onto the chair. The pack came with a total of four pieces, so I utilized two on the seat cushion. second piece of foam that came out of that four pack onto the side of the chair. I am utilizing a chair seat from my old sofa. The chair seat came with batting already attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my staple gun, staple that to the bottom of the chair around the edges. Make sure that you pull each edge very tightly to ensure that you have no lumps in your chair seating. The next foam that I'll be using on this chair is the backing. It's a green foam. I got it from Goodwill. It cost me about $2. It's a 2 inch by 22 by 22 and it'll be utilized for the back of the chair. Now I'll be working with the seat of the chair. I'm going to take my fabric, fold it, give it a nice crisp fold on the edge, and then I'm going to staple that to the rim of the chair. Make sure that you don't have any creasing in your seat.
sure that you are pulling the fabric firmly as you secure the fabric to the rim of the chair. Now you would take the fabric and place it across the chair and ensure that you leave enough clearance at the back so you can tuck it and staple it around the legs of the chair. Now I'm taking the fabric, tucking it around the chair, making sure that each side is even. Now we will be utilizing the green foam to pad the back of the chair. Just light padding for the back of the chair. And what you want to do is secure it in these two places so you can make sure that the green foam doesn't go anywhere. Next, we will be utilizing the Walmart foam that is one inch, 16 by 16. We're just gonna cut a strip of that and we're going to place it in the back of the chair between the wood and also the green foam. We are utilizing another piece of the Walmart foam to place on the rear of the chair to ensure that it gives it a nice padding on the back of the chair.
am just finishing up the bottom seat of the chair and going ahead and folding off those corners on the bottom seat of the chair. Here's an overview of the chair. It's not completed yet. Now we're going to take the fabric and place it onto the back of the chair. Now this part of the chair is just a hurry up and get it done because I want to see how it looks. Later on I will be utilizing some tack strip to make this nice and neat. But in the meantime, this is a quick fixer upper. Now what I'm using is a nail tack that I got from Joann's. It's just a quick step to place on top of the staples so you will not see those staples. Guess what? We are done. This is my reupholstered chair that I got from Goodwill that I paid exactly $4 for. It's reupholstered and it's perfect for my vanity setup. Thank you for watching and enjoy. And my Urban Decay lipsticks at the back. Here's some generic lipsticks and also my NYX lipsticks and my glam sticks from NYX. Couple of lip glosses at the back. Here's my brushes and do not judge me because they need cleaning. Um, this case right here I got from Goodwill. This is where I put my earrings that I wear every day or earrings that I want to wear every day and 